why do I have anxiety? Hey, what's up you guys? It's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new. I have filmed this intro like 10 times and I'm struggling to be nonchalant. I just want to show you guys what I'm doing to my freaking hair and that's it, but I'm so awkward in front of the camera. Let's get into it. Before that, actually, thank you to those that have subscribed. I hit my goal. I'm super happy about that. If you haven't subscribed, please do so or think about it. Guys, I'm like really, like really anxious right now. I'm seriously in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. Like I got a new job. I'm off work for the day, it's a Thursday, like usually I'm working but I'm off work <clears throat> because of this. Anyways, 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 um, I'm super casual. <laughs> I'm super casual, I'm anxious, I'm actually in a good mood besides these nerves, these filming nerves, but I had to do, I have to do my hair anyway, so I'm like, let me just film it for you guys and let you know what I've been doing. So here we go. Um, this is my hair now. This is what happens when I don't put um, a lot of product in it and I mess with it a lot, like running my fingers through it. So yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of a lot. So besides it looking like super crazy right now, I would say it's pretty healthy. Like it, it feels thicker, feels thicker after all of that shedding mess. Um, I cut it and I rarely use heat. I rarely use heat um, on my hair so I don't have a lot of breakage or split ends. So happy about that. Um, I do have combination hair. You guys, a lot of you probably have that too, where my scalp and roots are oilier and then my ends are drier. And then with me having curly hair, um, I've been trying to work on the dry part and keep that moisturized because if my hair is dry and not moisturized then it tangles and um knots equal breakage my main focus is just keeping my hair uh not dry what's another word for moisturized because i feel like i'm saying it so much wet okay anyways um i my hair is growing like i don't know if you guys remember but i cut it like I cut it super short, you guys, like here in September. And look at all of that. So the problem isn't it like growing out like longer. It's just like, can the hair stay in my head? Thanks. So I'm gonna get into the hair treatment itself. Finally, um, in this cup, I have, can you guys see that? Yeah, it's steaming. So that's a bit hot. Um, it's just hot water. And then I have another cup. I'm gonna put in some of the castro oil. Just any, I am not saying it right. I, oh, castro, castor oil. So because it's so thick and I don't like it, I'm putting in just a little bit. Anybody use this on their eyebrows or eyelashes? I know you can. Um, I just don't. I should. Alright, so we have the castro oil. And this is jojoba oil. It's like a carrier, so it um, goes on easier in your head, on your head. Yeah, that's probably good. And then I'm adding tea tree. Mm, like two drops. Peppermint. Tea tree helps with um, keeping your scalp clean because I get dandruff and like I said, my my scalp gets a little oily. Um, and like it feels gross, so the tea tree helps with that. Peppermint helps with like the actual hair growth. two drops of that because this stuff will sting your head and then the rosemary to help with the shedding and I do like liberal amounts of that 
Oh my gosh, guys, I'm hungry. All right, so I have... Okay, I have the oils in here, the water in here. And this, this is just heating up the oils, like I said, so it goes on smoother. So I'll leave that there for a little bit. Yeah. While that's getting, oh my gosh, there's like landscapers outside. I bet you can hear that. Okay, while that's getting warmed up, how are y'all doing? Like I said, I just got a new job, so I'm super excited about that. Um, that thing that you see on my back, but this is, that's the reason why I'm off work. Trigger warning, I had a cyst not even removed. I had it drained. You guys wanna see me crying <laughs> in the doctor's office because they wouldn't remove it because it's infected. Um, all right, what I'm doing right now is getting ready to put this um, Carol's Daughter Almond Milk Daily Damage Repair hair mask, and I'm going to put that like, like from here down. And like I said, this is just to help hydrate, hydrate, yeah, hydrate my ends so they don't become dry and tangled and knotted. So I really like it. I've been using it for um, a few weeks. Not even that, maybe a month or so. I don't know. Um, the review, I got it from Amazon. I think you can get it from Ulta, Target, I think carries this brand. But the reviews on it, a lot of them are good. The bad ones I saw um, that they didn't like the smell and it smells like, it smells like almonds. So I guess if you don't like that scent, don't get this but I really like it. So I'm just doing this because I got nothing else to do while the oil heats up. Did I shave? Yeah. And I have like some hair come out just because I'm kind of pulling on it and detangling it. I'm not worried about it. Because I really feel like my shedding is resolved for the most part. So I do this um, hair mask treatment thing. The hair mask, this almond thing that I'm putting on right now more often, probably like at this point once a week. And then um, the oil part, maybe like once every two weeks, just cause it's more of a hassle. And I leave that on longer. Ooh, look at that. I want that just naturally. Anyways, um, I'm gonna take this heated up oil and put it on my middle part around, around my edges. And I'm probably right here. Um, I got a lot of questions back in the day when my hair was like shedding more. I was just recovering, like where my hair thinned out the most. And it definitely thinned out everywhere, but right here. I think this is called the crown. I've just been calling it the crown. So I'll put the oil there. Again, I don't really like this castor oil so much, so I don't like to put it everywhere. So here we go. Make sure it's not too hot. Nope, feels good. And then after um, this is applied, I'll leave it on, like I'll go on about my day. Probably just gonna chill the rest of the day. And I will um, wash it off in the shower. Oh, another thing um, you could do, you could um, take a plastic bag, like a grocery bag, the one you get at the store, the wrap it around your head, and then take a blow dryer, like on low heat, and just heat it up because the heat makes the oils 
soak in or penetrate easier but I don't feel like doing that because of the peppermint and the tea tree like I can already feel it like start to invigorate my scalp which is my favorite and I just do like you see how I'm doing like real gentle massaging it in no hair has come out I really should have waited until my hot cheeto fingers were gone oh well do you guys remember in one of the older videos like when I did my hair like this when my hair was long my hair was like this long and I went like this and you could see through it now look it's kind of nice huh I'm gonna do right here and then probably use the rest like everywhere else so I will see you when it's on I'll see you when I see you when I come back bye all right guys I'm back I put the oil here here and then um, on my hairline and I ended up spraying it with a little bit of warm water and then this other conditioner um, it's not that great so I'm not even gonna show you guys um, but yeah this is it a little bit wet and I will uh, shampoo and conditioner like normal whenever like maybe an hour or so so I'll just let this sit I just wanted to make a video a random video about what I'm happened to be doing during my day um, hopefully there's more videos for me in the future and more frequently again thank you so much for those of you that have subscribed and um, if you want to subscribe and see more hair videos or random videos about my life that would be great so thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later bye